This tutorial shows students how to run a series of commands in Gretel. So we have our data, real GDP, KI, and a series of lags, and the first differences of real GDP and KI. Now let's just say we want to run a command on real GDP and lags of KI. We can simply go to the tool window and go to Gretel console. And here we can essentially use command prompts like we do in Stata. So for instance, we can run an OLS regression of real g d p k i underscore one k i underscore two and k i underscore three if we hit return we see we generate our sta our gretel output we can now quite easily push the up button on our keyboard get our previous command up and rerun our equation with just two lags or we can push up again and add in ki underscore 4. So we can see we can use this Gretel console to run a number of regressions in a row. We can then save the output by clicking save or we can print it by clicking print. Using Gretel console rather than drop down menu allows us to use commands which are much more flexible and allows us to repeat the commands one after the other. So here we can see I've managed to run my tree regressions very simply by duplicating the command by pushing up and I can scroll through the commands I have run. I can then delete what I don't want or add in what I want and rerun our regression. In this instance we can see when we reduce the lags to 1 the p-value becomes significant. Now also note that when I've run these regressions no constant term has appeared because I haven't included it in the model. So if we go back to our first regression, we can include constant by typing const as one of our independent variables. The command line follows dependent variable followed by independent variables. If we hit return, we can see that we have k1, k2, k3 again, and we have our constant term. Again, we can repeat the command by pushing up and ki underscore 4 added in, or we can repeat the command dropping them all bar ki underscore 1. So again, the Gretel console option allows us much more flexibility in running our commands. It saves all our output in the viewer. We can select save to save it or print to print it. That concludes this tutorial. Remember that it's very important to add the constant if it's required, as it's not default in the command, or to exclude it if you wish.